Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Red Dead Outfits. Today, today, <laughs> sorry for the voice crack. Uh, we got a very unique and special one that I've been waiting months for them to be able to let me do. Charlie Prince from 310 Yuma, which who where he was played by Ben Foster. My character kind of looks like the dude, to be honest. Let me get the fucking map out of the way into the light. Like honestly, he looks like Charlie Prince with this shit on. And I'm gonna show you what I did to make it. All right, um. We're gonna start with hats. You can either do a stalker hat with uh, this kind of look, or if you want to go more of a dirty one, you go with that one. Depends. Now, personally, I choose the uh, Owen Gila hat. I mean, it's, it was limited stock, so you might not have been able to get it. I go with that one, or you can go with this one. Depends on how you want it. I mean, I go with this one because it brings it together. Though they are bringing the Owen Gila back permanently, I've been told. So, pretty god they do. Uh, for clothing. I want to go with coats first. We uh, went with the Durham coat because, honestly, this is the most like like looking to his actual coat. So, from the movie. So, yes. Now, uh, I went with this coat because it, it's better than the frock coat that he wears. Because in the movie, it's kind of like a white color, but honestly, the Durham coat just brings it all together. And it's perfect. For it to be honest, it just suits everything. Now, for shirts, I went with a French dress shirt. I went with the red French dress shirt. I probably should put suspenders on this dude, but honestly, you don't really need it. Um, for gloves, uh, you can do rifleman gloves, that's what I did. Now, um, you have these, which don't look that well, but for these, these just pull all together the Tasman rifleman gloves, which was Tasman outfit. They're bringing that back too, I heard now. But uh, for weapon equipment, another video I saw on Grim Grady shit. Or not shit, really. It's a good channel. Uh, he went with the band studded bandit holster. Now, me personally, I'm gonna go with the uh, sharpshooter holster because why not? It looks well. Has a nice uh, look to it. It's kind of something I think Charlie would wear in the movie if he had to have it embroidered. And along with the sharpshooter gun belt, so that's that. For pants, uh, the video I watched, he went with the leather pants. But honestly, I went with the bandito because honestly, that pulls the whole outfit together. In my opinion because that's what it looks like he wears in the movie to be completely honest now for boots we're gonna go I went with uh, worn roper boots and one with these I mean I think he wore something like this in the movie I never got a good look at the boots but I would just go with the black worn roper boots and uh, I don't know if he wore spurs or not but I put spurs on my way so I'm gonna go with the garden copper spurs in the brown color but um anyway that is actually the uh, Charlie Prince outfit for Red Dale Line I mean, honestly, like, look at this. I'm using LaMask, but in the movie, uses skull fields and such, but, yeah. That is the Charlie Prince outfit, folks. Hope you all enjoyed. Go out there. Thanks for watching. I'm Real Sing Gaming, and, uh, peace.